Hey everyone, this video is about the GNU Emacs calculator, otherwise known as Calc. And Calc was created by David Gillespie in around 1990, and it's roughly based on HP's 28 and 48 series of physical calculators that many viewers of this channel would be familiar with. And Calc supports an extended RPE mode with many data types, and it also supports arbitrary precision arithmetic and a number of programming models, including keyboard macros, uh, formula and Lisp. And you don't necessarily need to be an Emacs user to use Calc. It can be used as a standalone experience, but it does integrate nicely with the rest of the Emacs environment. And like most Emacs modes, Calc does require the user to remember a set of key combinations to be productive. But once these are learned, it's very fast to use. So I'm going to demo Emacs Calculator on a Mac today, but it's also available on Windows and most flavors of Unix. And there are a lot of ways to install Emacs on a Mac. Uh, there's a prepackaged installer available, or you can install using Mac ports or Homebrew. And Calc mode comes as part of the standard GNU Emacs distribution. And there are a number of ways to start Calc within Emacs. Uh, one way is to type meta x uh, and then Calc. Uh, and this is causes it to be opened in a split window. Uh, another way is to open Emacs uh, in full calc mode. And uh, calc supports three uh, basic interfaces. Uh, there's a full calc mode, there's a keyboard uh, keypad mode that requires the X11 window system and displays an ASCII based keyboard and there's also a quick algebraic calculation mode uh, but for the purposes of this video I'm going to talk about the full calc mode and you can see information about the uh, calc in the mode bar at the bottom of the window uh, the bar displays the precision which is currently set to 12 digits and the angle units which is currently set to degrees and the screen is split into the stack window on the left and the trail window on the right uh, which displays the history of operations and so to calculate 2 plus 3 times 4, <clears throat> we can push those numbers onto the stack uh, and then we would hit uh, multiply and then uh, plus. And uh, you can use the delete key to remove items uh, from the stack. And calc distinguishes uh, subtraction from negative and so to enter a negative number uh, you proceed it with an underscore uh, so it's like so. And like the uh, HP 28 or 48, Calc can also evaluate algebraic expressions uh, defined in single quotes. Uh, so we also could have uh, done that calculation by typing a single quote and then uh, 2 plus 3 times 4. And we can change the precision using Calc using uh, the P key. Uh, so let's set it to uh, 30 digits. And Calc has many built-in functions and perhaps the best way to get an idea of these is to explore uh, the Calc menu. And so in console mode in Emacs uh, you can open the menu uh, using uh, the F11 key and then you can use the arrow keys uh, to navigate around. And most experienced Emacs users don't use this menu uh, during general usage, but it's a good way to find out what the keyboard shortcuts are for various functions uh, if you've forgotten them. And so, for example, if we select the scientific function submenu uh, and then uh, trig functions, we can see that uh, sign, for example, is uh, capital S. Uh, and so we can exit the menu using F10 again and say we wanted to find the sign of 45 uh, we'd enter on that on the stack and then we hit uh, capital S. And functions that take two arguments uh, like uh, greatest common denominator will use the top two stack values. Uh, so say we wanted to f uh, find the GCD of 56 and uh, 72 uh, we'd enter those on the stack uh, and then hit uh, K and then capital G and so the answer is 8. And with calc we can switch the top two numbers on the stack using the tab key. And calc supports undo uh, using capital U and redo using uh, capital D. 
And the calc trail is an interesting function. You can switch to the trail window using T and then I. Uh, and now in the trail window, there's a pointer that shows the currently selected value. And this can be moved using uh, T and P and T and N. Uh, and maybe the most useful trail function is trail yank uh, ty. Uh, so this takes the currently selected value and adds it onto the stack. And we can switch out of the tr uh, trail using t and o. Uh, and if you don't use the trail, it can be toggled off uh, using t and d. And fractions in calc are entered using the colon character. So for example, to multiply two and a half by one third, uh, we can enter 2 colon uh, 1 colon 2 and then 1 colon 3 and then multiply. And calc produces a fractional result and it reduces it to its simplest form. And we can take the square root of negative 1 to see how calc handles complex numbers. So I'll type in underscore 1 and then capital Q for square roots, and so it represents complex numbers as real and imaginary components within brackets. And say we wanted to square i again, uh, we could type 2 and then the caret symbol to get back to negative to 1. And uh, calc can handle complex powers, so for example we can raise e to the power of i, and we can get the constant e by typing capital H and then capital P. Uh, and let's enter i manually using 0, 1, uh, and then caret. And vectors and matrices are entered uh, using square brackets. And a matrix is represented as a vector of vectors. So uh, let's enter a 2x2 two two matrix now with values uh, 2, 3, 4, and and we can use V and I uh, to create an identity uh, matrix uh, with dimension 2 uh, and let's multiply them together using the multiplication uh, key and uh, we can hit V and capital D to find the determinant and calc also supports uh, complex matrices and calc supports spaces from 2 to 36, and we can change the radix of the numbers being displayed by typing uh, dr. So let's set it to uh, hex. And so you can see that calc propends each number with its base 16, and uh, we can still type in values in uh, decimal, and they'll get converted to hex. Or we can type in a number in uh, hex by propending it with 16 uh, hash. And... Uh, Calc supports um, all the usual bitwise binary operations, so let's switch to binary now. And we can set the word size uh, using uh, B and then W, so let's set it to 16. Uh, and we can hit uh, D and Z uh, to pad values out with leading zeros. And you can do all the usual bitwise uh, operations uh, like B and L. Uh, will uh, rotate values, uh, or shift values, sorry, to the left, uh, and B and R uh, will do the opposite. And Calc supports uh, three main programming models, and the first is keyboard macros, which work in a similar way to keystroke programming. So to begin uh, recording a macro, uh, we can enter a value onto the stack, uh, and then we hit uh, Control X and then open parentheses. Uh, and now all the keystrokes we'll enter will be recorded. Uh, so let's use my favourite example of the full distance equation. Uh, the distance an object falls in time t, which is half times 9.8 uh, times t squared. Uh, so let's assume t is on the stack. And so we'll begin uh, by squaring it. Uh, so that's 2 and then caret. Uh, and then we'll multiply that by uh, a half uh, and then 9.8. Um, and to end uh, the recording, we hit Control X and uh, close bracket. And uh, so now we can type in uh, another value of t, so let's say 20. Uh, and to run the macro, uh, we hit uh, Control X and then E. 
In macros and calc, uh, support conditionals and loops like a typical keystroke programmable uh, calculator. And calc uh, macros can also be uh, named and assigned to keys. And the second programming model calc supports is formula programming. Uh, so we use the same example and enter our formula uh, onto the stack. And now we can type in uh, capital Z and F uh, to assign it uh, to a key sequence. So let's uh, assign it to uh, D. Uh, and calc will prompt us for a number of parameters and uh, we can use the defaults here. Now we can run, uh, uh, to run our formula, uh, we can enter uh, another value for uh, T and then hit uh, Z and D. And of course, uh, you can also program calc in Emacs Lisp. And so I'll open up uh, another example uh, that shows the full distance equation, this time written in Lisp. And uh, calc has a special def math uh, command that extends the base Emacs D fun uh, command. And here we define our argument T as a uh, scalar float and the interactive command uh, allows the function full d to be used interactively within algebraic expressions and the, the following expression is the formula defined in uh, prefix style lisp uh, syntax and you can also create lisp functions that operate on values uh, on the stack uh, and so if we switch back to calc now uh, we can uh, define an algebraic formula uh, and refer to our, our Lisp function. And we've really only scratched the surface of what Calc can do. For example, it's able to even support simple uh, CAS operations. So uh, we can uh, differentiate uh, a formula, for example, by entering it on the stack uh, and then hitting A and D. Uh, and Calc can also operate embedded in other text windows and it even has a full set of uh, 2D and 3D graphing functions that use GNU plot. And so in summary, uh, the Emacs calculator is a really comprehensive software RPN experience and the way it replicates the function of a calculator like the HP 48G in an interactive text editor is really quite unique and although the way it works would be familiar to most people who watch this channel uh, there still is a significant learning curve because of the need to memorize keystrokes uh, but I think if you're willing to invest the time it may be one of the fastest ways to do calculations on any device. And anyway, so I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful, and if you have, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to be alerted of new videos.